Hey everyone, it's Mike Burge from the Nougat team here at Keller Williams. And in this video, we're going to talk about the Chattanooga real estate market and the national real estate market and what is fact and what is fiction. So stick around. Hey everyone, it's Mike Burge from the Nuka team here at Keller Williams, and I am back for another Monday Market Report for July 25th, 2022. And there is, again, always stuff going on in our real estate market here in Chattanooga, as well as nationwide. And I'm going to bring in a whole bunch of information about what is going on in the market and I want to help determine the difference between fact and fiction. Things that we're hearing in the, um, in the media and all of that, I'm just going to bring in some raw objective facts and let's see how the media is portraying it, see if they're right, see if they're wrong, and see how it all goes. So with all that in mind, I do want to point you to chattanoogarealestateinfo.com slash Monday, and you can get all our Monday market reports there. Also on the chattanoogarealestateinfo.com website, you can always do a complete search for homes, and there is lots of information about what is happening on the market. Um, if you're on YouTube watching this, you can see all the slides, but if you are listening on our podcast, make sure that you flip over to um, chattanoogarealestateinfo.com slash Monday, and you can see all of the slides that um, represent all the facts and the sources and everywhere of where we're getting all our information from. So um, if you are not listening on the podcast, I highly recommend that you check it out. You can find it on Apple iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, I don't know, wherever you find podcasts, we are there. So um, just look for the Chattanooga Real Estate Report and you'll find us there. So without further ado, let me um, go ahead and share my screen with you and start talking about what's going on in the real estate market as far as nationally and as well as in this area with Chattanooga. Now, Chattanooga has tended to be a little more protected from some of the issues that are going on in some of the other states like California and um, New York, New Jersey, some of Illinois, some of those states where they're having taxation issues um, because Tennessee doesn't have that uh, personal state income tax. So people are, are kind of flooding into this area. So we're tending to be a little more protected. So remember, so all these numbers are national um, that I'm bringing up. So take those as you, as you can. Um, <clears throat> so let me flip on to the first. Talking about mortgage rates, um, this is Freddie Mac the fixed mortgage rates from the beginning of the year till now, you'll notice that we've gone from 3.22% all the way up to 5.51%. Um, I did mention last week in um, our Monday market report that the interest rates had dropped a little bit. And you can see that reflected when it went from 5.81% um, down to 5.3, but it's starting to go up. The um, last week, the Fed did release the inflation numbers they were not good. So they will be meeting here in the next week or so to talk about raising the Fed rates, which does not directly affect, which is not the interest rates, but it does somewhat affect the interest rates. So just something that we're keeping an eye on. I will continue to bring all that information to you as it happens. But um, you can see that we have gained that that um, interest rate, it has gone up and it's caused some of the issues that we're having with um, inventory. But again, if you've been following along on these past couple Monday market reports, the issues that we're having are not bad issues. Um, and this 5.51% interest rate is not a huge interest rate. It's more than we had, but it's not terrible. It is I really want to impress upon you today that as a buyer, it is still now a good time to buy houses. And we're going to talk about some different situations that you might be in. Now, I do want to put aside the fact that if you are in some personal situation where 
um, you may have a risk of losing job or maybe transferred out of the area and you put your buying on hold for those reasons, that is completely different than what we're talking about. But putting your, um, your buying aspirations on hold because of the market or the interest rates, that is where I'm going to kind of drive home here. So let's keep going. Um, what I do want to note here is the home builder cancellation rate. And we've seen cancellations here in the real estate market for regular listings. People are pulling their homes off the market because they're not getting the 50 offers that they were getting before. Um, so there has been a lot of cancellations because people are concerned about the rising interest rates and the affordability of homes. So I just want you to notice that right now, as of June, we were in 14.5% 4 cancellation rates for home builders, which is huge. If you'll notice, let me see if I can put my mouse over it here. And uh, this is the 2020, this is the start of the pandemic at 16.5% cancellation rates. So people tend to, when they get worried about something or worried about something upcoming, they tend to become paralyzed and they don't do anything. And that is exactly what we saw at the beginning of the pandemic. People got paralyzed about selling their house. So therefore there were a lot of cancellations and they thought, okay, now I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna make a move. And you were seeing the same things happen right now is people are getting a little paralyzed because they're worried about these interest rates and worried about inflation. And they have the right to do that. I'm just bringing you across the facts of, of why these these things are happening. And um, so just something to note that there, there is, there has been some cancellations. So Rick Sharga, Adam uh, numbers, the, he says, I think mortgage rates will stay relatively steady over the next month with rates on the 30 year mortgage ranging between 5.75 and 6% and rates on the 15 year mortgage hovering around 5%. So we think we're going to hold a little bit right now, even though the inflation numbers have just come in, they're thinking that that's, if we're going to hold at this interest rate, we don't want to go too willy nilly with the interest rates and um, get them up uh, too far and, and push us into further into toward a, a recession. Remember when recessions happen, that would, we, we, I want to note that we do expect the interest rates to continue to go up. At, toward the end of the year, I, we expect them to continue to rise, um, getting up maybe 6.75, 7%. Um, we do not expect the interest rates to go down anytime soon. But that is a result of what happens during a recession, is once we drop into a recession, the interest rates will tend to go down to help pull out of a recession. Not saying we're going into one. I'm just saying that that is what happens when we do go into a recession. We saw that um, back in 09, um, 08, 09, um, 2010. So again, last week on the Monday Market Report, we talked about the estimated home prices and it's all that supply and demand that we talked about last week. I'll put a link to that video um, up above me, but as long as there is a lower amount of supply and a huge amount of demand, which we have right now, the home prices are going to continue to go up. It's what makes it still a good time to buy homes. Even if you are um, wanting to switch homes, you own a home and you're wanting to sell and buy a new one, um, the values are going to continue to go up just based on supply and demand. The interest rates do affect it slightly, but because of supply and demand, the home rates are going to continue to, to rise. If you're in um, another situation, like you're a renter and you're thinking about getting into the market, here's some interesting information. We're gonna put some more slides to follow up with this, but the median rent in the top 50 metros reached $1,849. That's 15.5% higher than this time last year and a new rent record for the 15th month in a row, which is, crazy that we've been going up in rent prices. Your rents are going to continue to go up. And if you want to get out of that, that now is the time. 
So here's the change in the rents. You can see the 15.5% that we just talked about overall. Um, the two bedroom has gone up 14.8%, all of it year over year from this May compared to last May. So when we put that in dollars and cents, if you look at a two bedroom rented home, the average monthly mortgage payment in the country is $1,842, which is around the same price as the overall rent that, um, that we see, but it's actually less than a two bedroom rent. And that doesn't take into account all the great things that come with home ownership, like writing off your interest rates and, and your interest payments and all of that. So there are other benefits that go along with it. So, now is still continues to be the time to buy, even if you're renting, because you want to take advantage of some of the, the benefits that come with home ownership, but you're probably going to be paying the same, if not a little bit less than you are in rent. So um, just interesting looks at all of that. So back to Dave Ramsey, he just did a big production about home buying and he says, right now is the best time to buy a house in the next five years. And here's why. Okay, prices are not going to go down. Some of you are saying, well, I'm going to wait for prices to come down. They're not going, you're not going to get them. They are not coming down. And that's according to Dave Ramsey. And as we saw from the statistics and all of the predictions of the house prices going up, you know, 4% over the next five years, it is a huge gain in um in personal wealth and by owning a home. And it is now time to buy. If you are thinking about buying as a new home owner, now really is the time to do that. So I want to thank everybody again for coming out to the Monday Market Report. If you, if we can answer any questions for you, please reach out to us directly, 844-NUGA-HOME. Um, also our website, chattanoogarealestateinfo.com. There's lots of great information on there. You can find our Monday market reports there, um, podcast everywhere you can find us, Apple iTunes, Apple iTunes, Spotify, um, Stitcher, Google Podcasts. It's all over the place. Just check out Chattanooga Real Estate Report. And if you want to go directly to our YouTube channel, you can go to nougateamchannel.com. It'll take you directly to our YouTube channel. Again, I always appreciate everyone seeing us on our Monday Market Report. And remember with the Nuga team, your home is sold guaranteed or we'll buy it. So call us 844 Nuga Home and start packing. <laughs>